Good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you? I am fine. <laughs> I'm eating my dinner. <laughs> I am dinner. My <laughs> eating my dinner. <laughs> You're eating your dinner. Ah, yeah. Okay. Well, enjoy your food then. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Good. Hello, Jorge. How are you? Jorge. Hello, Jorge. Are you there, Jorge? Hello, Jorge. Are you there? Okay, apparently they're not. What is out there? Um, Wendy, how was your day? A little busy because um, my my boss is sick, and mm -hmm. and right. I I went I went to I went to I would go bank. Oh, you had to go and to the bank. Other other time, and only, only my boss went went the bank, and oh. yes. So he he's the one that's in, is always in charge of going to the bank. Yes, only, um, I. I am um, staying only time in the office. In, oh. in, in my lunch din my lunch hour. Uh, mm -hmm. today we went uh, when well, went the bank. You went to the bank? Yes. Oh uh, wow. So was it enough time, one hour to go to the bank? Mm -hmm. Um, thirty. No. Eleven, twelve. Mm -hmm. Eleven, twelve. Twelve. Uh, to. To one p.m. Mm -hmm. Yes, one hour. One hour. One hour. Stay in. In the bank. Yeah. Stay in the bank. Yeah. yeah, I can I can imagine. Yeah. I I I think very fast. Uh -huh. Attend attend me very fast. One hour is is fast for me. Okay. Okay. Well, but yeah, yeah, one hour is actually quite um yeah. quite quick. Yeah. Um. Let me. I'm going to be. I'm going to be um, um, sending the class message because okay. three, three participants. Yeah, well, in theory, three, but I think Jorge is not available. So. Okay, so we'll have to see. 
what happens. <laughs> yeah, because um, you would think Okay, yeah. Um, so let's get, give me a more one moment. Okay. Um, yeah, it's very strange that uh, the other people have not connected. Very, very strange. Um, okay. It, oh, okay. So we have one connected right now. Good evening, Delbert. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Good, good. good. I'm good. How are you? Uh, not so bad. Uh, good. good. With a lot of work. Uh, yeah. Between uh, yesterday and I, I, I had to prepare an information, an origin information for an audit. Mm. Um, the, the time uh, was so busy, but right. I I I'm ready for this day. Mm, okay, good, good, good. Um, I'm glad to hear that. Thank you. Yeah, excellent. What about you? Um, pretty good. I'm, um, it was good. It was uh, relaxing. Yeah, it was. Uh, it was. It was you. a nice day. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Yeah, it was um um yeah, it was it was it was nice. Um I took a walk um um around my area getting to know the place. Yeah. It's important it's important uh take a walk uh, for a a, a periods a frequent periods uh, for health. Yeah. Oh yeah, definitely. I love I, I love walking, and one of the things yeah. that um, I um, that I miss, I guess about um, yeah, I, I miss about uh, before my my life felt in El Salvador is that I felt that I was more active in El Salvador because um, yeah, I, I would I would be like going mm -hmm. for walks and and going to the gym and everything and for example in istanbul um it um uh you can't like it, it's i don't know how to explain it mm -hmm. but it's um mm, there are lots of, it's just so crowded that it's crowded. really and it's crowded and also the way that it's the shape it's like everything is up down up down up mm -hmm. down out of and um like for example in the streets you can't really walk in the streets because they're very narrow streets so you like you're walking and the cars wow. are like walking right like they're passing right by you so you can't really feel that you can walk um so so freely so here here uh, where i am right now um, I'm enjoying that because right now it's like open space. Right now oh, open it's space. Yeah, it's um you don't walk it, slowly like in the city, I imagine. Um well I am in the city, but it's just that um because I, I don't I don't know if you 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 heard that I was now I'm in, in, in another country. Yes. So um so I'm 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 actually in the capital of the uh, okay. of the country, but um, it, 
it's it's different. It's different than Istanbul because um, it's a uh, because Georgia's very um, well, very very very. Um, the population is completely different because in Istanbul there's twenty million people just in one city, million. Yeah. twenty million, and in Georgia there's only it's only like. 3.5 million people in the whole country wow. in the whole country so to, um tbilisi is very density. it's very yeah it's very it's it's different it's there's a lot of um of space yeah. um a lot of countryside um and it, it was really funny because yesterday i was walking and I was like, I chose to walk because I was I was walking to my friend's place and I chose to walk. Um, and I guess people here are not used to walking. They don't walk very much. So the cars would stop to trying to give me a lift. You know, I'm like, no, oh. no, no, it's fine. You know, I, because they thought that maybe you know, I was lost. It's the same or, here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but but you know but in El Salvador people don't stop to give you a no, lift right don't stop, no, don't <laughs> so stop. but yeah so people like I I like where there were like three people that would they would honk at me and like they would like say like get out get in I'm like no 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 it's okay <laughs> it was really funny because they I guess they were not used to they were not used to seeing people walking in the streets <laughs> it's <was> funny oh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's something different. Oh. oh, yay. I'm so happy to see everybody. I was missing everybody. I was like, where are you guys? <laughs> okay. Um, hello, Manuel. How are you? Hello, teacher. How are yeah. you? I'm fine. Yes, yeah. I'm glad because uh, we, uh, today, we finish the module. Mm -hmm. no, yeah. Uh, not only by finish, but also because it's a one step more. Right. Yeah. In That's our uh, growth, and for sure, if um, it's a self motivation to continue. Mm -hmm. yes. Absolutely. Yeah. 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 I, I agree. Yeah, definitely. It's a, a motivation to continue. You're absolutely right about that. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Excellent. Thank you. Yes. And, uh, mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, yes. Uh, so tell me, tell me, please. It's what? Uh, today I was uh, uh, a, little, uh, a little short um, talking with uh, two uh, workmates. Mm. Yes, in, in, in my uh, in the company, uh, there are many people that speak very well English. Oh yeah. Yes, and I try to to uh, uh, practice with them. Yes, we had oh, the opportunity. Good, good, good. That I'm yeah. glad to hear that. Yes, I was. Uh, I I was surprised and a uh, a few days. Ago because uh, we have a uh, uh, many uh, clients to that that are company uh, uh, that are transnational companies and the owners or the legal represented uh, is a uh, uh, foreigners foreigners for foreign foreign foreigners okay. yeah, foreigners yes and one day. One co client visit visited our office and asked for uh, co work, right? Uh -huh. And then they was speaking English. They were. They were uh, speaking English and very uh -huh. well. And, and I hear that uh, people. Uh, wa was a uh, uh, American uh, American people 
for oh. accent. Yes, for the accent. Yeah. Oh, but yeah. my yes, my my coworker. Uh, uh, he he also was uh, speak very well. Yes, and for today, uh, with this uh, with this uh, coworker and the other uh, is is a woman. We uh, we are in a trio. <laughs> oh, yes, nice. I like it. Yes. Very good, very good, excellent. Well, that's good. I'm I'm glad you are looking for places to to expand your your knowledge. Yes, right? I and and <laughs> yeah, yeah, and 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 that's good. That's healthy because that's the reason why you're learning English to be yes. able to use it in your everyday life. So good for you. Yes. Yeah. Excellent. Okay. All right. Um. Good evening. Maria Elena. Okay, I guess she's a little busy right now. Um, hello, Jennifer. How are you? Hello, good evening. Good evening. How are you? I'm doing great. Yeah? Yes. Oh, good. Okay, excellent. Are you working still or...? No, 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 I finish. Oh, um, I, I still have a lot of work, but uh, the work never ends. And then uh, uh, until Monday or, mm -hmm. or Tuesday, I don't know. Yeah. Okay. So what do you mean until Monday or Tuesday? Oh, yeah, back to work. Oh, oh, okay. Are you going to work Monday? Um, I, yes, I think so. Oh, and then okay. I can take day off another day oh, as a compensation, okay. a compensatory uh -huh. day. Oh, nice. And nice. I can, yes, I can took it later or when mm -hmm. I need it. Mm, good. That's good. Excellent. Um, I'm glad you have that option. Yeah. Yeah. It's pretty nice that, uh, I know that is a, will be a, a, a long weekend. Yeah. But sometimes you need um, um, a time on the other days and, and then I can use it for that. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And and um, in a way, it'll be better because if you need another day, it will be a day when um, things will be open, <laughs> you know, because yeah. you're on holidays, everything's closed. Right. So, mm. yeah, that's well, good. here here. Everybody at least early or during the day because it's a it's a vacation and and and, and they um take advantage of the vac vacation to to sell and and make offers yeah and like um and because it's going to be a long weekend like yes um, yeah yeah exactly okay well that's good that's good okay all right guys i um i want to say hi to everybody but um time is catching up and we need a lot we're gonna we need lots of things to do that today we have we need time so i'm gonna be taking attendance asap so we'll start with um christian you still here no? Okay. Oh, well, she is, but I don't... Lisa, are you connected? I mean, I know you're connected, but are you there? Lisa? Hmm. Good evening, Yes, oh. I'm here. Oh, okay, good, good, good. Yes. All right, thank yes. you. Um, okay. Are you able to turn on your camera? Uh... Yes, but I'm I'm walking right now. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. All right, yeah. wonderful. Okay, thank you. Okay. okay. And Delbert? Present teacher. Wonderful. Diana? Here, teacher. Thank you. Jennifer? Present. Present. And Jorge? Present teacher. Ah, welcome, Jorge. 
your home. I can see. Yes. I, I home. <laughs> Excellent. Okay. Uh, Manuel? Present teacher. Wonderful. Um, and um, Maria Elena? Maria Elena? Hi, good evening. Good evening. All right, thank you. Um, Maria Jose? Oh, sorry, sorry. I skipped, Hello. sorry. Mar Mario Ernesto? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Um, Good evening. I yes, I trouble with my connection. Okay. Okay, it's okay. I I I, I saw you. I, I could hear you. Hello. Thank you, Maria Elena. Maria Elena, it's fine. I, we can hear you. It's good. She's okay. frozen. Yeah, she has problems with the connection. Um, Mario Jose. No. Um, Norma. Romario. Is Silvia Suleima? Present. Wonderful. And Susana? Present teacher. Wonderful. And Wendy. Ah, present teacher. All right. Wonderful. Okay, guys and girls. Um, we're going to start. Uh, okay. Um, please tell me if you can see. Hi, uh, good evening. Hello, good evening. <laughs> I knew oh my camera because zoom no working okay okay no problem okay so can you guys see my powerpoint yes yes teacher yes okay right Okay, so this is um, the course English for Work program, Advanced Module 2. The facilitator is Jessica Herrero, and the date is April 28th, 2023, and it's day number 25. So this is our last day of class. <coughs> okay. Um, all right. Uh, do you remember? Okay, actually, you know what? We have this activity um that we were doing last class uh do you guys remember this remember that um i told you to work in small groups you're gonna you're gonna choose a company um and work on the basic steps to design a csr program um and then present the ideas to the class right so it's based on what we were talking about last time which was develop the vision don't just talk a good game launch strong and monitor intensely, consider your customer's needs and preferences, use CSR to enhance um, talent to recruitment. Do you remember this? <laughs> Do you remember doing this activity? Lance, do you remember this activity? Hey, teacher. Mm -hmm. I remember that uh, when we start this uh, activity, mm -hmm. uh, we we don't more time only five minutes. Oh no, I I know. I'm just I'm yeah. I, I know that. I just want to know if you remember this activity. D do you remember doing this activity, everybody? Because um, if you don't, uh, th these were the groups so that. You guys maybe can remember who you're working with. Do you guys remember this? Yes, yeah. yes, but we can, we can, do, we can do, we couldn't do. Yeah, yeah, I know. That's that's mm -hmm. why I, I'm going to put you back into the groups. That's I just okay. want to want to know if you guys remember 
doing this activity so you can go back to it. Yes. Yeah. Okay, perfect. All right. So I'm going to right now <clears throat> put you guys into those groups. Okay. So um <clears throat> Okay, let's see. <clears throat> so according to my list, um, okay. <clears throat> okay, so according to this list, we have Christian, um, Jorge, and Manuel and Silvia Sulema together. And then we had uh, Diana in another group with Maria Elena and the, only those two people. <clears throat> and then uh, we had Jennifer in another group with Susana and Wendy. Mm -hmm. Uh, <clears throat> okay, and um, yeah, okay, and um, Delberth, uh, you were not here that class, but I'll, I'm gonna add you with group number two, okay? <clears throat> All right, so um, if I give you about 15 minutes, no, uh, 10 minutes, would that be okay, or do you need 15? 15. <clears throat> 15? Okay. I'll give you guys 15 minutes then, okay? So I'm going to open up the groups right now. Okay, I'm going to step the the, the continue the huh? yes the know. steps mm -hmm. ah okay. okay no I I don't see I I no, if you don't copy, you didn't copy last uh, the last no. uh, class, and no. then that you don't have it because the the chat. Mm -hmm. and yes, is the Jennifer and... sent. No. Okay, come on, now. yeah, yeah, yes. Yeah. <laughs> um, teacher. I didn't understand them. Teacher, yes. And uh, well, in this case, I remember that when we we need to create a list of uh, steps to uh, develop a CSR. Yes. And mm -hmm. I ask you if we well, and then I I I um, I remember I told you that if when you don't know about. <clears throat> anything about CSR, you need to use a template or you can choose a template that mm -hmm. can help you to develop the CSR. Right. And then I show you the a list of steps mm -hmm. that I mm -hmm. found in a, in a, in a, or, uh, that, that was already created to start mm -hmm. a CSR from scratch. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then, right. yeah. Okay. And then that we are going to just uh, enumerate or list each step. Mm -hmm. But yeah. in the in the in the last point it says present your ideas to the class. Yeah. And then we need to develop a vision uh, uh, that is the, the five step digam uh, said mm -hmm. mm -hmm. five steps. Mm -hmm. And after that we need to develop a vision. 
and and well talk about the each each five points and develop a vision don't just talk a good game launch strong and monitor intensely yeah those were the things that we talked about last time that mm -hmm. you read about remember that i i, I divided you guys into groups and yes. everybody presented so those mm -hmm. were like the guides let's say mm -hmm. But uh, that are different <clears throat> from the from the the steps to design a CSR. Uh, that that's a guide, a guide that you need to take into account. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. But to to, to be clear, we need to to show mm -hmm. at least the steps, and after the steps, we need to develop a, a or create a vision. Mm -hmm. and a guide that that is related to don't just talk a good game that is just create a CSR just to be a fanfare then, right? Just to be what did you say at the end? Fanfare, I think that is the, the, the right word, fanfare or fanfaronear. Fanfare. Ah, oh, okay. Um, yeah. Um... Not just that. Because the the point number two says don't just talk a good game. I don't know if that is related to that. Okay. Um. You know what I'm gonna do? <clears throat> I will actually share those powerpoints with the class in the in the in the chat, so everybody has those information, so you know exactly what they refer to. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Will that help? Yes, yeah, but the, but the, but the, but the specific is that we need to create a vision, uh, something related to point number, or, uh, develop each point that you gave us. Exactly. Yeah. That is yeah. different from the list of uh, steps. Uh huh. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. And we are going to present. Then you can present. To make a presentation. Okay. Yeah. The, not. Um. Don't. Uh, you just have to explain the steps. You don't have to cr actually um, <clears throat> do it each one of those steps. Uh, yeah, exactly. Yeah. But we need yeah. to but make a presentation. Yeah, yeah. The slides. Um, just if, you, if you want, if it's easier for you to do with with with, yes, with to, slides. Yes, to guide. Yeah, mm -hmm. okay. that's okay. It, it's it's up to you how you want to present it. Okay. okay. All right. Okay. Uh. So is, is that clear for everybody? <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, I think so. Okay. All right. So I'll go to another group and make sure that they understand. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Equal a continuum, but you're sent the link. Yeah. Okay. Are you back? Hi, group. Okay. Hi, teacher. Back to... Hi. Um, Hi. Is everybody Hi. understanding? Mm, not really. So, so. <laughs> okay. uh, what do you not understand? Uh, something that I create a vision about. Uh, an idea of program CCR. Uh, we are mm -hmm. thinking about uh, a program uh, like a daycare. Yeah, no, no. Do, you don't have no. to. De you don't have to develop everything. You just have to explain the steps. Explain. Uh, yeah, you just have to like talk about the steps that you're gonna be taking, but you don't have to actually create the whole thing. Does that make sense? So really no, um, and the step um, <clears throat> showing the book or okay, I'm 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 sending you guys the steps um in, in that we talked about in class. I'm sending them right now to the groups. 
So you guys can you, see. You send a present your ideas to the class, develop a vision, don't just talk a good game, and I just throw a monitor at Okay, so that it, it, you guys can remember and be a little clear on that. Okay. And guys, um, are your cameras working? Because I can't see anybody from the group. Sorry, teacher, I'm in the cell phone and when I'm looking the image. Oh, okay, okay, yeah, I get it. Okay. Um, so I'm sending- I'm the only one I'm trying. <laughs> yeah, I guess. my connection is uh, bad. Okay. When I, I can I, I camera, mm, mm, no working. Right. <laughs> okay. All right. So I have. So I already sent it, and you just have to kind of explain what you have to, um, according to the company that you chose kind of explain those steps. You don't have to actually do those steps. You just have to explain the steps according to the the company that you chose. So we have to choose a chose, sorry. A company and a program they already have and explain how they applied these steps. Um, you, not exactly. You have you have to choose a company, and then you're going to work on basic steps to design a CSR program. So you have uh, like, how would you design a CSR CSR program for that company? Not one that they already have. How would you design it for that company? Does that make sense? Are you able to hear me okay? Yes, teacher, I, okay. I just don't get it. Okay, you're gonna choose a company. What? What's the company you chose? We were still talking about it, but we okay, took just... like an example of Coca-Cola. Okay, so Coca-Cola, all right. So we have Coca-Cola. Think about what steps would Coca-Cola have to take in order to create a CSR program? So if Coke, if you were the designer of the CSR program of Coca-Cola, what steps would you have to take? And the presentation, so develop a vision. No, you don't have to develop the vision. You just have to explain the steps. You just you're just explaining to me or to the class what steps you would have to take if you were the designer of a CSR program in at Coca Cola. That's it. Maybe then uh, we we have to start with identify identify the need or objective that the company wants to works. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, yeah. So and you... maybe. Does it, yeah, does that make uh, sense? Something like that. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Just just take, explain take a, the steps. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Take a communication with the stakeholders. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Yeah, that's all you have to do. All, that's, that's the okay. only thing. You don't have to actually develop anything. You just have to think about what are the steps that you have mm -hmm. to take in okay. order to create that program for that particular company. Okay. 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 Let, let us think then. So I think okay. you got I, it. I, 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 <laughs> I understand. 
It, uh, we only need uh, to develop and agree. Develop each of one, each of them. Yes, to complete the, 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 the idea, we need, we need a specific name of the program. Uh, yes, we can put the name like uh, I don't know, CS, CSR Coca-Cola. But the specific name, <laughs> this is it. The specific name of the, of each steps or? No, the specific the name, name for, the for, for the program, yeah. for the program. Mm. What, what, do you, what do you think about a crop? All right, guys and girls, um, I know that you are not finished with your groups yet because I've been going um, to the different groups and I know that you're not finished. But uh, right now we're actually going to interrupt our um, activity for a moment. I'll return you back later, but we need to um, actually do the um, the survey right now. OK, so... we lost. Sorry to interrupt. We lost uh, Wendy. Oh, we lost Wendy. Hmm. Yes, she was in the in the in the breakout room with with Thank Susana, you. but yes, but after when the when the maybe break... need the signal. Yeah, she may re yeah. return. Yeah, in a moment. Yeah. Okay. All right. So, guys um, and girls, I I need you first thing to do is take out um your um. Your email, uh, your email, the one that that was sent uh, with the information that you need to use to complete the the survey. Okay, so um, while you are doing that, I am going to share with the class. Um, the a second. I'm going to be sharing with the class the video um, that it will help us to remember how to complete the 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 what's it called um the survey. Okay, so let's start by doing that. Please tell me if you can see and hear the audio. A tu correo electrónico personal la información con los datos. Can you hear in yes, the... Yeah? Yes. Okay, wonderful. Yes. All right, so I'm going to put the right now the the video again so that you all can hear. Como inglés corporativo, vamos a apoyarte para poder desarrollar la encuesta de satisfacción de manera correcta. Vas a recibir a tu correo electrónico personal la información con los datos correspondientes del curso. Vamos a ingresar y vamos a seleccionar el enlace para poder desarrollar la encuesta de satisfacción. Vamos a regresar al correo que hemos recibido y vamos a colocar el número de la orden de inicio siempre proporcionada por nosotros. 
la vamos a copiar tal cual está en el correo electrónico y la vamos a colocar en el punto número 1. En el siguiente punto vamos a colocar el nombre completo, que es de cada uno de ustedes. Lo vamos a copiar de igual manera en la información que hemos compartido y lo vamos a colocar en el nombre completo. Siguiente a ello, vamos a colocar el correo electrónico personal que ustedes han proporcionado a Inglés Corporativo. De igual manera, vamos a colocar así el número de contacto que ustedes han proporcionado. Lo vamos a copiar. Y así lo vamos a colocar en el número de celular. Posteriormente colocamos el sexo. En el punto número 6 vamos a desplazar la flechita y vamos a buscar el departamento de residencia donde ustedes actualmente viven. De igual manera, vamos a colocar el municipio en el cual ustedes están residiendo. En el punto número 8, vamos a colocar el nombre de la empresa. Cuidado en ese punto, ya que vamos a colocar el nombre de la empresa tal cual razón social y nosotros lo tenemos registrado. De igual manera, les hemos compartido el nombre correcto para que ustedes puedan colocarlo. En el nombre del proveedor, vamos a colocar de acuerdo a nuestro centro de formación, que es Inglés Corporativo Regal International. Vamos a desplazar la fecha y vamos a buscar el nombre de nuestro centro de formación. Lo seleccionamos. Y en el siguiente punto vamos a colocar el nombre del curso. De igual manera, vamos a colocarle tal cual está la información que nosotros hemos proporcionado, tanto por correo electrónico y por WhatsApp. Vamos a copiar el número del curso y vamos a colocar. En el punto número 11, las evaluaciones que ustedes serán las harán de manera individual y personal según lo que ustedes han vivido en el transcurso del curso. Las fechas de inicio de igual manera las vamos a poder verificar en la información que se ha compartido. En ese caso nos vamos a ir al calendario y debemos tener el cuidado ya que en el calendario podemos retroceder o adelantar las fechas. De igual manera, según las fechas proporcionadas, vamos a tener que buscar el mes y la fecha indicada del inicio del módulo. En la fecha de finalización, de igual manera proporcionada por nosotros, vamos a desplazar el calendario y así vamos a seleccionar el día en el cual está finalizando el curso. En el punto número 14, vamos a colocar una valoración personal que ustedes han recibido de parte del desarrollo del curso. Posteriormente, ustedes pueden seleccionar algunos cursos de otro interés o algún comentario que ustedes tengan respecto al trabajo desarrollado. Vamos a darle clic en el botón azul de enviar. Y posteriormente vamos a recibir un mensaje de la respuesta a su enviado. Cuando ustedes han recibido este mensaje, favor de tomar una captura de pantalla, compartirla al grupo de WhatsApp correspondiente junto con su nombre completo, según nosotros los tenemos registrados. Y es así como tú debes desarrollar la encuesta de satisfacción. We can do hear you. You're in mute, teacher. Thank you. Sorry about that.
Ok, entonces eh, hemos completado eh, el video de que nos va, que nos está guiando ahí para hacer la encuesta. Sé que ustedes, um, la mayoría de ustedes ya eh, lo han hecho muchísimas veces, pero siempre es bueno recordar. Entonces, um, vamos a proceder a empezar con la encuesta. Voy a mandar en el chat um, el enlace para la encuesta para, por si acaso, no lo tienen. Ahí está, para que todos lo puedan hacer. Ok, entonces procedemos ahí. A ver, hacer la encuesta. Debería verse así. ¿Todos lo pueden ver? Sí, sí, sí. Sí, sí, sí. Siempre, siempre pido ayuda para el nombre de la empresa porque no aparece como... Normalmente es, por favor. Ok, ok, un momentito, ya, ya vamos a, a llegar a eso, entonces. Ok, Gracias. bueno, de nada. Entonces empezamos con uh, el, la, el punto número uno, que es ingrese el número completo de la orden de inicio con guión y plecas, será proporcionado por proveedor, puede copiar y pegar. Esto es algo que, por favor, solamente hagan eh, copiar y pegar porque si no nos podemos que confundir esto lo vamos a encontrar en la en el uh, en el correo electrónico que recibimos que es este numerito de acá verdad entonces vamos a ir y vamos a pegarlo acá ok eh, se los voy a mandar al chat también por las dudas en caso no tengan. Solo hagan copiar y pegar, por favor, porque como pueden ver, son varios números y guiones y plecas y no queremos confundirnos. Ok, entonces continuamos con uh, el punto número dos, que es su nombre completo. Este es exactamente como aparece en su DUI. Eh, se lleva dos nombres, dos apellidos, nombre de, eh, apellido de casada, lo que sea como exactamente como aparece en su y como se ha inscrito eh, en Instaform. ¿Ok? Por favor, ahí coloque su nombre completito. Punto número tres es su correo electrónico. Ese correo electrónico es también, nuevamente, es el correo electrónico con el que usted está inscrito en Insaform. Entonces, eh, puede ser que usted tenga varios correos electrónicos, si es um, de la empresa, ¿verdad? O personal, asegúrese que sea el que usted ha dado con Insaform. ¿Ok? Todos hemos llegado hasta este punto. Hemos terminado ahí, necesitamos más tiempo. Vamos a ir. Ok, vamos a seguir entonces. Eh, ok, punto número cuatro. El número celular. No, nuevamente este es el número que usted ha, eh, ha registrado con Instafor. Puede ser que tenga varios números de teléfono, muchos, muchos celulares, pero es el que usted uh, tenga, tiene ahí inscrito ahí con Instafor, que al cual... Digamos, para que si, si tiene alguna duda, es al, al celular donde Inglés Corporativo se comunica con usted, ¿verdad? Si a veces está, puede ser que le llame, ¿verdad? Por asistencia, por, por saber qué ha pasado. Entonces, es, ese es el número. ¿Ok? Luego continuamos ahí con eh, el sexo, para Si usted es mujer, ponga el femenino, hombre, masculino. ¿Verdad? Ok. Seguimos ahí con departamento de residencia. Este es donde usted está en el, actualmente viviendo. Entonces, eh, va usted a presionar acá y va a escoger de todos los departamentos cuáles son el que usted, donde usted vive. Ok. Entonces, si usted, por ejemplo, um, eh, vive, digamos, en Santa Tecla, entonces tendría que poner la libertad 
Y aquí poner Santa Tecla en municipio. Por ejemplo, ¿verdad? Ok. ¿Alguna preguntita hasta el momento? No, teacher. ¿Alguien necesita más tiempo para, para completar esto hasta el momento? No, teacher. Ok. Bien, entonces continuamos. Eh, empresa donde trabaja. Este es um, nuevamente el nombre de la empresa, tal como, como me parece ser que fue Wendy quien, quien lo mencionó. Este es el nombre de la empresa eh, con la razón social. No es el nombre comercial, sino que la razón social. Eh, entonces, demo un momentito. Voy a dejar de compartir un momento para esta información, Wendy. Gracias, Ticho. Uh -huh. Ya se la comparto. Solo deme un momentito. ¿Hay alguien más que necesite esa información o todos saben cómo, eh, cuál es el nombre de la razón social? Okay. Eh, quiero ver, voy a ver si se la puedo mandar al chat. Mm -hmm. Solo de un momentito. Ok, se, ya se lo mandé Wendy. ¿Hay alguien más Gracias. que lo necesite? Miss, yo solamente quiero saber si me puede volver a poner el número, eh, el, el primerito, el, el, el número uno. El, el, el número de, de la, la, orden. La, la orden de inicio, de inicio. Ajá, es que me quedé hasta 8048 guión. Ok, eh, copie y, y, y pegue, porque como le decía anteriormente, si está digitando, va, puede ser que se nos quede ahí algún número y ahí va a estar incorrecto. De WhatsApp no se puede, teacher. Yo en mi teléfono estoy haciendo. Tengo problemas de internet y no escucho. Se trajo oh. todo. Ok, eh, Cristian, ¿me escucha ahorita? ¿Cristian? Hola, Cristian. En... Tiene su micrófono ap apagado, Cristian. Sé que se me escucha. Uh, puede accionar su... Oh, se, se nos fue. Ok. Bye. Uh, hasta el momento todo está claro. ¿Hay alguien más que necesite ayuda con algo en particular? Ok. Cristian, eh, ¿logra escucharnos? Mm. Uh, vamos a ver. Voy a ver si puedo ponerlo en WhatsApp. Okay. ¿Alguna otra preguntita, chicos? ¿Algo con lo que yo les pueda ayudar? ¿No? ¿Podemos continuar entonces? Yeah. Sí, te echo. Ok, muy bien. Ok, solo de un momentito mientras yo se me ha extraviado. La encuesta. 
Ok, ya, ya, ya la volví a hallar. Ok, vamos a ver. Ok, entonces, um, hoy sí, ¿verdad? Me pueden, lo pueden ver nuevamente. ¿Sí? ¿Todos ven la encuesta? ¿Sí? ¿No? Sí, sí, okay. sí. Ok, gracias. Ok, entonces continuamos ahí con la punto no, número 9. Nombre del proveedor con eh, el que se capacitó. Um, a, lo hace clic eh, izquierdo y le aparece ahí eh, el, el menú. Entonces va usted a buscar a, entre todos, va a buscar el que dice inglés corporativo, Regal International. ¿Ok? Es el único. ¿Ok? Y luego vamos a colocar el nombre del curso. Para el nombre del curso, vamos a ir nuevamente a, nuestra, es, a nuestro uh, correo electrónico y aquí está la información, que es exactamente esto. ¿Okay? Lo van a copiar y pegar, por favor, para que no nos eh, confundamos, copiar y pegar. Entonces vamos a ir acá y pegamos. ¿Ok? Se los voy a mandar también aquí por el chat. Es, es inglés. ¿Verdad? Con la tilde de español, ¿verdad? Por favor. <ríe> si no, es otra cosa. Entonces, eh, inglés avanzado, módulo 2. Sí, exactamente así. Vamos a ponerlo. ¿Okay? Luego, pasamos a la otra parte que dice, val valore los siguientes aspectos rel a relativos al... mandó al chat? ¿Cómo? No mandó el, el chat eso para pegarlo. Eh, que dice que a mí mi encuesta me sale en inglés. Ok, está bien, no hay, no hay problema. Está en el chat, pero el chat es Zoom. ¿Ah? Es, está en el chat, pero en el chat es Zoom. Sí, ahí, pero no veo el inglés corporal, ese inglés avanzado, para pegarlo y ponerlo. Ah. Porque como me sale en inglés, no tengo tildes. Ok, ok. Ya sé qué ha pasado. Es que el... solo, y... solo Wendy está recibiéndolo. <ríe> ok. Hoy sí, todos deberían de haberlo recibido. Ok. Ok, hoy sí, ¿verdad? Sí, hoy sí. Ok, perdón, chicos. Lo estaba mandando solo a Wendy. <ríe> ok. Uh, bien. Bien, bien. Ok. Um, y también había mandado orden de inicio. Hoy oh, sí. Ok, muy bien. Entonces continuamos ahí. Uh, valores de, de valor en los siguientes aspectos relativos al curso. Esto es um, su opinión personal, ¿verdad? Eh, en, cuan, en, en cuanto al curso. Eh, entonces, uh, ¿cómo considera el, el tiempo empleado para desarrollar el curso? ¿Se cree usted que es insuficiente, deficiente, aceptado, aceptable, bueno o excelente? Usted va a decidir lo que usted quiere poner. Um, ¿Qué opina del contenido y estructura del curso? Nuevamente, de los cinco, ¿cuál es el que usted opina? ¿Qué opina de las opciones y herramientas tecnológicas utilizadas en el curso, verdad? Eso incluye, ¿verdad? Los manuales digitales, la plataforma, ¿verdad? Todo eso es um, la tecnología que hemos utilizado. Ok, usted decide qué es lo que usted va a poner ahí en cada uno de ellos. Luego... Aquí está la fecha de inicio del curso. Si usted va de, revuel de vuelta a su, a su correo electrónico, va a ver que la fecha de inicio del curso fue esta, 20 del 3 del 2023, ¿verdad? Que es, o traducido, el 20 de marzo, ¿verdad? Entonces, vamos a ir acá y vamos a escoger en el calendario el 20 de marzo. 
Ok, que fue acá, el lunes, lunes uh, 23 de, del 2023. Y eh, la fecha finalizó, eh, fecha, eh, pero en qué, en qué fecha finalizó el curso, que es la fecha de hoy. Eso no está tan difícil porque, pues, aquí está, ¿verdad? debería ser la misma fecha de hoy, que es el día 28 de abril del 2023. 23. ¿Ok? ¿Y cuál es su nivel de satisfacción después de completar el curso? Um, esto, uh, les uh, recuerdo que eso se refiere a la satisfacción que usted ha tenido con eh, el curso en lo que tiene que, lo que respecta a eh, como la experiencia que usted ha tenido con tanto eh, el apoyo académico, ¿verdad? Y el apoyo administrativo. Entonces, tanto uh, lo, que, como, lo que se le ha apoyado con, yo como mi persona, ¿verdad? Y también uh, del lado administrativo, todo eso. Um, si usted está satisfecho, ¿cómo se le ha eh, dado ese apoyo eh, de inglés corporativo? No tiene que ver en sí con um, nada de su desempeño en el curso, ¿verdad? como dicen, ah, pues, eh, yo que hubiera querido estar presente más tiempo, o no, no, no me pude conectar cuanto, cuanto yo quería, o eh, cosas como, mire, no, no me gusta que es, te tenga que prender la cámara, cosas así. Eso no, no tiene que ver con eso, sino que la pregunta está dirigida en sí, ¿cómo está usted satisfecho con el apoyo que le ha dado Inglés Corporativo? Y por último, bueno, son los últimos dos, que es mencione que otro curso son de su interés, ¿verdad? Um, esto está abierto a lo que usted quiera poner. Si usted quiere poner, um, no sé, Excel, por ejemplo, ¿verdad? Va a poner Excel. O si usted quiere poner otro, otro curso que tal vez no existe, pero usted estaría interesado en tomar ese curso, si se lo ofrecieran, puede poner eso también. Ok, cualquier curso que usted desea. Y luego comentarios, lo que usted quiera poner, cualquier comentario que a usted le parezca que, que es apropiado para lo que usted opina. Ahora, antes de mandar, por favor, no manden todavía. Necesitamos regresar y revisar que hemos completado todo y que lo hemos completado correctamente. ¿Ok? Entonces, por favor, revisen que orden de inicio sea este y no otro número. Ese es el único número que se puede poner porque es el único número de licio. Revisen que su nombre esté completo que su correo también esté completo, que, que esté con, que sea el, el, el correo correcto también, ¿verdad? Mm, el celular también que sea el celular correcto, que haya escogido si es del sexo femenino o masculino, que haya escogido su departamento de residencia y haya escrito también el municipio donde reside. Eso es donde en, actualmente reside, ¿verdad? Si usted se acaba de cambiar, pues puede, aunque tal vez no, eh, no haya registrado eso, pero si se acaba de, de cambiar de, de municipio, ¿verdad? Puede poner el nuevo municipio también. La empresa donde trabaja, acuérdese que es la razón social. También aquí el único que va a escoger es inglés corporativo. Asegúrese que ha escogido correctamente el nombre del proveedor. Aquí que haya escrito exactamente esto, ¿verdad? No hay otro nombre que se pueda utilizar porque es el nombre del curso. Que haya usted escogido eh, la, el nivel de, de o la valo, el, el valor que usted le haya, haya dado a cada uno de esos aspectos. Esta fecha de inicio sea el 20 de marzo del 2023 y la fecha de finalización del curso sea el 28 de abril del 2023. Y que usted haya completado si usted está tan satisfecho con el apoyo que se le ha dado inglés corporativo, ¿verdad? Y um, se ha puesto ahí cualquier curso que usted esté interesado en tomar 
y comentarios. Cuando usted ya haya asegurado, se haya asegurado que ha completado eso, va entonces a poner eso enviar y luego toma captura de imagen y me manda esa foto al grupo con su nombre completo en la parte de abajo. Su nombre completo. Asegúrense, por favor, de que su nombre esté completo. ¿Ok? Y eso sería todo. Entonces vamos a dejar de compartir y vamos a esperar de que todos manden ahí sus, sus capturas de imagen al grupo. Acuérdense, por favor, su nombre completito. Okay, I think I think we have everybody. If I'm not mistaken. Creo que sí, ya están todos. Okay, muy bien. Entonces, um, lo que voy a hacer, entonces, uh, we're going to return you back to the, your groups. Um, I'll give you about five more minutes for you to work with your with your group, and then uh, we'll be presenting. Okay. So I'm going to open your groups back again. OK. Um, here we go. Let's open the groups. Uh, Cristia, who are you working with? OK. Maria Elena, who were you working with? Maria Elena? Yes, teacher. Here. Who were you working with before? Maria Elena? Oh, hello. Who were you working with before? Which group? With Albert and Diana. And Diana. Okay, yeah. perfect. Uh, Wendy, who were you working with before? Who? Who were you working? Jennifer work and Marilena. Okay. Uh, Jennifer and Susana? I'm sorry, uh, Susana. Okay, all right, okay. <laughs> Christian, who were you working with before? Dice, ¿con quién está?
Hello. Hello, teacher. Um, how are we doing? Well, uh, preparing the steps. Okay. Um, any questions? Anything I can help you with? I think not for now. Okay. All no. right. Okay. Good. Good. Don't just start the game. Mm -hmm. It's a moment to consider for the program. And maybe. Maybe. Satisfaction, sorry. Mm. And like you the say, me. Mm -hmm. Yes, or in a meeting. Make a meeting. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we 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 use uh the value of me a vision and, and and make a meeting for this vision. And explain the program um, to the employees. Explain the program. Okay, I I start with the with these basic steps, and then you you complete the, the presentation with yes the information. The of, uh huh. Yes, uh, the vision and in, in in the the in general the the, the last. But you can, uh, you need to to give the the name of uh, don't forget the name of, of program. Oh, the, the program yes. Coca Cola's Croc Intelligence Model. Uh, from El Salvador, in collaboration with Mac. Okay. <laughs> From Crocs, Coca Cola's Croc Intelligent Model from El Salvador in collaboration with Mark. Okay. Um, then I, in the, in the presentation, I, 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 Tell to the the time to the classmates the steps the five steps that we chose and then you you speak about the the next part yes okay. But related to this basic steps we don't have to do anything the uh, no i consider yours uh, i told you uh, before i, I consider uh, in, in uh, we we were talking about the yesterday that about that Mm -hmm. In general, in general, uh, I can I uh, I can I can talk about, for example, let but, me see. But you you will add some information 
uh, about the the programs about the yes. yes the next the next is uh, a vision mm -hmm. a vision uh, and, and, and then we core values right and then uh, about the, the five develop uh, uh, about the uh, the the number two, three, four, and five, right? Okay. That's it. How many times the teacher says to give us to this presentation? I don't know. I I remember. Uh, he. He tell us uh, five more minutes. Uh, he okay. or she. <laughs> okay. And what do you he know? He or she, about Manuel. <laughs> Sorry, teacher. He or she. She, for sure. <laughs> okay. Sorry, teacher. That's okay. It's, for the, it's the motion. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Okay, no, I'm just well, joking. Please. I'm just kidding with you. Okay. Okay. All right, I'll see you in the main room. Okay. Okay, teacher, thank you. Okay, all right, class. So we're gonna start with the group number one, which is Jorge Manuel and Silvia Soleima. Okay, good evening, everybody. Uh, we, we create a small program with uh, Manuel. Your <laughs> name the, that this program is Coca-Cola's Croc Intelligent Model from El Salvador in collaboration with Mark. And we, we chose the basic steps that we consider is, is we can implement in this program. Uh, number one is decide the area to implement this program. Number two, where we want to go. I mean, what we uh, get as a result. Number three, attract investors. Obviously, to to invest in the in in this program, we we want to to develop. Number four is uh, choose the target audience. Uh, uh, is related to to decide uh, which people is is the the best uh, uh, the best customers in this case for this program, and the number five is uh, monitoring the results to to follow the the program and how this can help to the to, to to the people that we we chose like a target audience. Now my classmate uh, Manuel continue with the the presentation. Okay, thank you, George. Uh, good evening, everybody. I'm going to continue. Uh, we have also a vision. Uh, 
that is uh, this statement. Uh, creating joyful moments with our delicious products and unique experience together with our brands. For our customers being the best possible partner, driving innovation and delivering a level of growth unmatched in our industry. Uh, our pillars our pillars of sustainable sustainability are human, environmental, and the talent. Uh, the company uh, relates global responsibility in this, in, in particular with collaboration uh, in our crop, like uh, coffee, uh, the other product that El Salvador uh, can, uh, can grow or can uh, work in our in our uh, territory. Uh, also, uh, we we work in partnership, uh, searching. Uh, donations with other company to 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 have lists of of commerce, right? And for sure, uh, oriented to uh, involve the to improve the health uh, or of society. Uh, that's all. Thank you for your attention. Okay, very good. Thank you very much. And applause. Um, okay, excellent. Thank you very much. And let's move on to group number two, which is composed of Delbert, Diana, Maria Elena. Hi, good evening. Um, well, uh, we talking about um, develop the vision to establish a daycare center for the employees' children. And this is uh, step one. Step two is uh, conduct a uh, service service with uh, employees. Mm, but to uh, develop a better uh, strategic um, number step two or step three um, hold a meeting to explain uh, what is the program will um, employees and step four uh, mm, comply uh, state requirement um take um I don't remember what is the word for seguro second <laughs> for the ch ch children and finally implement in chair works is the fourth step, but I don't know if Delbert or Diana want yes. to add yes. more. Yes, thank you, Maria Elena. Thank you. Uh, yes, uh, well, the, the, the program that we we talk about implement in, in, in our company is a daycare. Uh, Maria Elena says that uh, First, I create a vision. It, this this is it, the, the main part because if the company needs to uh, have a vision, like uh, uh, work for the employees, uh, needs uh, to create a committee, create a committee to to form that this 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 program. Uh, in this committee, uh, 
they analyze uh, higher staff for the daycare or, or start by finding out your uh, uh, their state licenses a requirement for 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 child care uh, providers uh, develop policies and pro uh, uh, procedures and uh, and ha and make a, a survey uh, to uh, to to know uh, the needs of the of the people that can use uh, daycare. Okay, is that it? And yes, I think so. Yeah. Okay. All right. Very good. Excellent. Uh, just remember, it's strategies. 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 Mm -hmm. Strategies. Yeah. Very good. Excellent. All right. Uh, last group will be uh, Jennifer, Susana, and Wendy. Okay, I'm going to share my screen. Okay. Can you see my screen? We can. Well, our company is JNS W Bank. And we are thinking and to develop a CSR initiative. Here is our team. And Wendy. Okay. We write down a purpose CSR, strategy of purpose strategy. Um, uh, here you can look through the different development work or complete other online research to help you decide what's most important to your organization. Uh, by the first step is write a strategy, uh, CSR, or pro proposal, and meeting with community, uh, say the question is the it's important thing uh, aligned with the mission or the values with the company are important. Uh, ethical and economic and environment aspects. Create a list that uh, what uh, the um, second step. Review any existing CSR activity. Create a list what you currently do and solicit, solicit feedback. Feedback from your team. What promoters engagement what does your team and company care about? Decide what works and does, what doesn't. What progress impacts what doesn't. In the list, uh, the, um, the, the necessary uh, resource necessary and um, the, the team or the list for example, the feedback or the um, the work or what what does what does or do with the with the company for the CSR activities is uh, for example the actions or the or the um, engagement or the uh, word or, or the, the list, the activities. The activities for, for the strategy. Uh, step three, uh, finally your strategy with your team and stake, uh, stakeholders. 
Uh, it's time to formalize your plan and present into your team. Uh, this is quite inquire a stakeholder such as a board or director. Uh, the organizational uh, management team and relevant members of your organization and community. Uh, by including, including uh, your stakeholder uh, from the author you enjoy, uh, early adoption in her in website initiative. Um, because uh, you are your researcher and define uh, what's important in your organization in driving so social impact. Um, And now is a time formally your plan in present in your in team for the uh, a mate uh, with a, a team uh, is an important uh, formal in team for is a uh, a e plant. So no step four, uh, launch your self program. Uh, whether your uh, CSR in a small is big, uh, this is where you take those toes a uh, fear step. Remember, it's not, it doesn't have to be perfect. A few consideration for managing your program su successfully. Uh, Consider a corporation giving management for software or help you manage your opportunity effectively. A communicator after win your team, a shareholder and community. A share you CSR success, a use the power of storing to connect with your community, involve your employees. A, is the Safe. Um, it's important knowing to is a time for the fun part, um, and maybe it's a chore or or big the project. Uh, it's important. Uh, it's important. Uh, execute uh, the the plant. It's a yes a or cl or climb comply uh, for the mission. Only that. Okay, and step number five, uh, measure your CSS performance is important. That means that you are going to measure the result of what you are doing. Uh, like a new, uh, any new initiative, it's important to uh, set a list of measures of goals from your program and to evaluate the positive impact along the way that what you are doing. And that uh, give you an idea if you are doing the things in the right way. And the last one, uh, you can uh, iterate and improve continuously and maybe you can now uh, at the at the end of the the cycle maybe you can you can you need to start again in the point number uh, one and see if you need to change uh, after evaluate the measure or the metrics that you set in the point number five and reevaluate if you need to make a change in your CSR initiative and may and and consider. Uh, to to understand if you are doing the things in the right way. And for that, you can create surveys and ask for feedback to the people that are involved in the in the program to see uh, uh, what what were, what uh, the company is doing or the also the people that can be benefit with the CSR. That's all. Okay, thank you very much. Excellent. Um, so uh, we say survey. 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 Mm -hmm. Yeah, very good. All right. Excellent, guys. 
Um, all right, great. Before we move on to the next, um, uh, the next part, I just wanted to remind you that it is the last day of class. And that means that tomorrow I have to send, tomorrow, first thing in the morning, I have to send the, um, the, uh, what's it called? Um, the, the, the grades, the grades to Insaforp. That means that your platform has to be complete. And unfortunately, I was noticing that there are some people, not many, but there are some people that are still missing a few things like the final exam. Uh, we're still uh, missing some of those. And I think um, also uh, is the unit, unit four or the, the homework number four as well. So, um, just a reminder that I need you guys to finish that tonight, okay? Um, if there's somebody that's not sure, if if you are on that list of, of people that need to complete it, um, I can I can let you know. But I yeah I I do want to remind you especially yeah mostly I was noticing with the final exam that we are, are missing quite a few people that need to do the final exam. And um, let me see, final exam. And yeah, in, in homework number, hold on, let me see. Yeah, homework number four, some of you I haven't completed. And other ones like that homework two, I think it's like some of them are are done or better said, some of them have like you've worked on them, but you're not complete. So remember that um, that you need to complete everything. And especially with the home, with the, the final exam and the midterm, you must do those because even if you have 100% on the um, homework one, two, three, and four, but you don't have a, the whole, the final exam or the midterm a complete, then it doesn't give you enough uh, percentage to be able to pass. So you need to complete those. All right. So just, just a reminder for those, for the people that haven't done that. Okay. So we're going to move on to the next part. Can you guys see? My PowerPoint. Can everybody see it? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Okay. All right. So this is something that we talked that we started talking about yesterday about the topic sentence and how it's important that the topic sentence, it talks about the main idea of the paragraph and it gives us um, information so we get, so we're, we're ready for the main paragraph. So we understand what we're going to be reading about, but it's also very important that we understand that topic sentences are not facts, but states sorry, but opinions. And we need to make sure that we state them in a form of an opinion and not an announcement and that it's very specific and not vague, right? So those were the, the points that we talked about last class. Do you guys remember this? Right? So we're looking at topic, yeah. yeah. So just a reminder, we're looking at topic sentence and we saw that topic sentence was basically telling us what the paragraph is about, what the main idea is about, right? And these were the points that we had to take into account that it's a, it states an, an opinion. It's not a fact. We also have to make sure that it's um, stated as an opinion and not just an announcement, right? We're not just announcing something. We're, 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 sh we're showing you that we have an opinion on the matter, okay? 
Um, and we have to avoid those vague words, right? We have to be very specific. So those are the things we talked about last class. So now that we remember that, we need to do the exercise. So uh, read the following topic sentence and identify the reason why they are effective or not. Okay, so they so each each topic sentence can be effective or it's not effective, and suggest an improved version for the ones that are not effective. Compare your suggestion with the classmates. So you can actually work with a part with a, a partner, and you're going to decide: is it a good topic sentence? If it is, great, right? So you don't need to change anything. But if it's not, we can say, no, it's not a good topic sentence, and then give us tell us why it's not a good topic sentence and what would be a better topic sentence. Sounds good? Do we understand what we're going to be doing? Yeah? OK, so I'm going to put you into groups, sorry, pairs, sorry. And work in pairs. Um, okay, so I'm going to open up the groups right about now. Uh, Hi. This is the last uh, example exercise. Uh, but I I have read mm -hmm. uh, number one, two, three, uh, but uh, in the in the rule. So, say, read the following topic sentence and identify the reason why they are effective or not. Suggest so and improve, improve it. Version for the yes. ones that are not effective, compare your suggestion with a classmate. Right. Uh, but it's hard to, to identify is, is uh, What are the effective and what are not effective? Well, what what makes it effective if it's an opinion? Uh, for me, not a the number the number one is uh, ethical responsibility concern societal expectations. But okay. the so so you're going to. So I want you to discuss that with Jennifer, okay? So just keep in mind, a good topic sentence is an opinion, not okay. a fact. It's specific, not vague. And it's stated as an opinion. So it we don't confuse it as something else. It has to be um, stated as an opinion. So make sure that it has those, those elements, okay? Okay, yes, announcement and opinion. Yeah, so it has to, first of all, it has to be an opinion, not a fact. Make sure that it looks like an opinion and not an announcement and then it's specific. Yeah, because uh, normally in the example that we have, uh, the, in some, for example, number one, 
the fact is the correct, but the the opinion is uh is my opinion. Maybe right. it, uh, my opinion is wrong. Maybe. Maybe it, th Maybe, but that's not the point. The point, the point is not if the opinion is wrong or right. It's how you write the opinion. That's uh, what's important. How, how I, I, I how write. you express? How do you express it? <laughs> yeah, and then what? What we need to identify our opinion. If it, if the topic sentence is correct, or if we need to change it. Okay. That's all. Okay. If, if, if the sentence are, is okay, what we need to do? Nothing, because it's Nothing. okay. Uh, okay. Only the sentence that not complete or not okay? Okay, yeah, we need I, I consider we need to the is no company con responsibility con concert concert social organization a respect with the loan, but I also make creative efforts to participate in meet the norms of society. Society needs corporations to give their people employment in infrastructure. In any population, be still to provide a workforce. Corporate social oh, oh. is the environment. No, I know. Erica, responsibility concerning social expectation. Erica, Erica, responsibility concerning. Station. I'm finished. 
Fin. <laughs> no. Uh -huh. Erika. Ay, no sé qué pone. Ya se me achicharon el cerebro. Yo cansado esto. Igual yo. Es que tengo que continuar trabajando. Oh, yo preparando unas cosas de number four number four companies suffer company imagine three. issues when they don't participate in CSR activities I believe mm, uh, it's effective uh, because because it clearly states um, the consequence of don't or not particip participate in CSR activities. Yes, maybe uh, could be, but I, I'm not sure if if the main idea is is complete or it, or if the message is effective to the to to show that they they want to. To, to explain with that in this, in this in number four mm, say an, an opinion or is a fact companies mm. super imagine issues when they don't participate in CSR activities but why I, I consider this is not complete the, the main idea, so maybe it's, it's not effective. So we have to suggest how to to improve that that sentence. What do you think? Totally clearly for you. Okay, guys, so let's take a look at, at this. Um, okay, so, ethical responsibilities concern societal, societal expectations. Is that okay? Is that a good topic sentence? Yes, teacher. You sure? I think that it is not right correctly. Why? The, so, societal. So, so I don't know if that is 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 that valid word. 
in that case, we need to fix it, right? Okay, sure, Defender. yeah. But but the topic sentence in itself. So there might be a, a spelling mistake or a grammar mistake, but the spelling, the, the, the actual topic sentence, is that a good topic sentence? I think it's, uh, it's not effective. Uh, Why? Because the ethical responsibility not only concern social expectation um, is is the is uh, expectation of the company uh, is 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 include too the objective of the companies. Okay, good. So in this, if you notice, this is written like an announcement. We need to make it a an opinion. Okay, so the problem is that it's not stated as an opinion, it's stated like an announcement. Okay, so we need to change it so that it looks like an opinion. Okay, next one. Uh, organizations are expected to do more than just comply with the law, but also make proactive efforts to anticipate and meet the norms of society. I think that is a topic sentence and it's correct. It's effective? Yes. Yeah? Yes. Okay, all right, very good. Society, um, so sorry, societies need corporations to give their people employment and infrastructures and corporations need healthy societies to provide a capable work workforce. This topic is effective too. I think that that is like an opinion. Yeah. Okay, all right. Uh, companies suffer image issues when they don't participate in CSR activities. Is that effective? Mm, no. Why not? I think I think it's just an opinion. Mm -hmm. Because but not necessary. Mm. Is it specific? Or is it vague? Yes. It's specific. Yes, it's specific. What are image issues? Is that do we understand it, what are image issues? Yes, when 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 they have a a, a bad image is in, in this uh, public image image. Yeah, but um, but well, is that is that very specific? What what kind of image? No. So. It's a bit vague, right? The, the 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 words that we're using are very vague, so we need to be very specific. So only, before... only only speak about the consequence that no participating participating in CSR. Uh -huh. Good. Okay. Yeah. And and we have to be more more specific in number four because it's too vague. Okay. And number five, social and environmental issues should be the priority for international companies. Is that okay? It's not a specific. It's not specific? Okay, all right, very good. Yeah, it's written as an opinion, definitely, because it should, right? So it's something mm -hmm. that I believe, but it's not too specific. Okay, number six, one primary focus of uh, corporate social responsibility is the environment. I think it's, it's a specific. Is it specific? Okay. Is it an opinion? So 
Is it an opinion or is it a fact? A fact. It's a fact. So we need to change it to make it an opinion. Number six it needs to be changed so that it sounds like an opinion and not as a fact. Okay. So there you go. That's it. All right, guys. Um, and and how are you going to change it? That's gonna. There are many many possibilities. So we're not we're not going to talk about that because, you know, there there are endless possibilities for how we can change it. Okay, guys, so we have now officially come to the end of our class and of our course. Amazing how time has passed by. Um, so we are going to, first of all, take attendance, or our last attendance of this course. And we're going to start with Cristia. Cristia is not here. Okay. Uh, then we have uh, Delberth. Here, teacher. Wonderful, That's thank it. you. Diana. I'm here, teacher. Wonderful, thank you. Jennifer. Present. Excellent. Jo uh, George or Jorge. Present, present, teacher. All right, wonderful. Uh, Manuel. Manuel. Something happened to Manuel. Oh. Okay, I guess he's not here anymore. Maria Elena? Present teacher. Wonderful. Thank you. You're welcome. Mario Ernesto? Present teacher. Thank you, Mario Ernesto. And uh, Maria Jose? Uh, Norma? Carolina? Romario Camaliel? Silvia Suleima? She writes in the in the in the chat that oh okay I've been seeing it. Okay, Susana Beatriz. I'm here, teacher. Wonderful, thank you very much. And Wendy, many present, teacher. Wonderful. Okay, guys and girls, it's been a pleasure to have you guys. Um, and just wanted to remind you that we need to finish the platform. I already sent in the chat the people that need to finish off the final exam because that is crucial for you guys to be able to pass to uh, the course. Also, um, I wanted to remind you that we need to have those documents yeah, for the next level. We need to do them ASAP. So if you're if you're not sure if your company has sent them, please, 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 um, oh, call tomorrow and make sure that they send it so that we can start as soon as possible. Remember that Monday is a day off, right? So. Um, they, they won't be able to send it on Monday. So that's why it's best to um, to call them tomorrow if your company works tomorrow, okay? So that's it, guys. I will um, hopefully see you um, later on. And if not, well, I hope all the best for you guys. And um, take care and have a wonderful evening. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, teacher. Nice, Thank you. Thank you so Thank much. You. You're welcome. Bye. Nice Bye. to meet you. Bye, guys. Nice. Bye-bye, everyone. Bye. Blessing of everybody. Thank you. You too.